Hi guys, welcome back. I am Melissa. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad you found our channel. Um, Melissa's Corner is what we call ourselves here. And we're just a, a family of everybody who likes to share and um, different things, handbag lovers, any kind of stuff, you know, shoes, handbags, accessories, things like that. Yeah, I'm into it and I like to share stuff with you guys. So for everyone who is new to the channel, Thank you, thank you, thank you. I welcome you with open arms. Yes, hugs, hugs, hugs for everybody that's new. And I know there's some of you that have been with me since day one and maybe, you know, along the way, along the journey, but you've stuck with me. And thank you so much for that. I so, so, so appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate it. So um, anyway, we are on Vlogmas Day 12. I skipped yesterday. I am so sorry. It was with the snow outside and it was gloomy, super, super foggy. Um, it was just kind of a gloomy blah day. And I think it kind of rubbed off on me and I had kind of a melancholy type of a day to where um, not a lot was accomplished. And I just, I guess maybe I felt a little bit blue. So I, I feel much better now and uh, was out running around all day long doing appointments and um, going to the, the mailing place to mail packages and um, went out to lunch and just did so much running around today and I didn't vlog any of it. Duh, hello, that would have been kind of fun to do but I didn't, but I'm sure I'll be out and about again um, probably tomorrow, maybe I'll do a little vlogging. But on the, the 12th or the 12th day of Vlogmas, I've been continuing to share the bags that I have um, acquired in 2022. And I've shared quite a few with you guys so far. I have three right here I want to share with you. One I have used, two I have not. One I picked up and it's more of a spring summer type of bag. Not that I really have seasons when it comes to bag. If I want to carry a bag, I'm just going to carry the bag. I really don't care. Um, but I'm going to save this one for spring because it just is so fresh and springy and kind of fun. So I'll do that. Um, the very first one I'll share with you, this I have carried. This is the Coach Willow Tote in the um, iced, iced purple, iced lavender, iced purple, I think is what it is. But it is the croc embossed. I did add on a twilly of Louis Vuitton on this bag. But this is so comfortable. Love this bag. Um, great size. Uh, I don't have any other willow totes like this. So yeah, this one's pretty fun. Love it. She'll be cute for spring too and summer, but um, you know, I just, I love the color. The other one is one I got towards the first of the year. Have not used her, have not used her. Still with all of the tags. Um, this one I am considering, it is the Willis 18. I am considering um, putting her on the market too because I just can't have have not grabbed for her. So if this is something anyone's interested, let me know and we can talk about um, if this is something you might be interested in. But yes, the Willis 18 I did get this year and it is in the gold metallic. Really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, if I don't sell her, I will keep her. She looks good on a shelf and maybe at some point in time, I will have an occasion to use her. Um, but you know, if you're interested, let me know. I might consider going ahead and selling her. And the third bag is, I had to get something in the cherry print. The cherry print was so cute. I did pick up, this is the um, Soft Happy in coach with the zipper on the back. It's got the cherries. It does come with a, a, a crossbody shoulder strap. This one fits on the shoulder just fine too. But isn't she cute? This is the one I was saying is super spring, summer. You know, I could do it if I wanted to. I could, hey, they're cranberries, right? They're cranberries for Christmas. But uh, yeah, I'm going to save her, I think, for a cute little summer outfit and a big sun hat and just happy colors and brightness galore. Um, when I was running around today, I had this scarf on, which I got at TJ Maxx. It's a Vince Camuto. I had a ton of compliments on this scarf. It's just a $14.99 scarf. I mean, this is nothing spendy. TJ Maxx, I do love Vince Camuto. Um, 
I love his shoes. I haven't tried any of his bags, but I do love his shoes. I have quite a few Vince Canuto shoes. But yeah, this scarf I got a lot of compliments on. Um, my fragrance that I have on, I got. I had compliments. I can't even remember how many I got today on it. People saying that it smelled so good, they wanted to know what I was wearing. And what I'm wearing right now, it is the, um, let me grab it right here. It is the Zhirzhov Casamirati Bouquet IDL. This is so, so winter, so warm, spicy and sweet at the same time. It's hard to explain, but it is, it is just yummy. So yeah, I had lots of compliments on this and because I change my fragrance up almost every single day, I had to think about, uh, what one I put on. So it was like, uh, uh, oh yeah. Because then I could smell myself and, um, remembered which one it was. Set her back here very gently because she is one of my favorites too. So yeah, so I got compliments on my fragrance. I got compliments on my scarf. I had compliments. I carried my Marc Jacobs, uh, the tote bag the, in the mini in the dusty, dusty pink, I think it's called, or dusty rose, dust, I think it's dusty pink, dusty rose pink. Um, just really, really pale, pale, pale. And I have a Louis Vuitton Twilly tied to it. I got lots of compliments on that too. I don't know. It was just like, bing, bing, bing. I was getting lots of compliments today. So it was kind of fun because yesterday was just kind of a bummer. So today it was kind of fun just to go out. I didn't feel like I had on anything special, but I had lots of compliments and I felt very um, comfortable and in my, in what I was wearing. Um, wasn't dressing up for anybody. I was just out doing what I needed to do and some compliments just happened to come my way. So that was pretty darn cool. Um, I have to get going on the things that I'm going to be putting on the eBay or the Poshmark. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to be using. I've never used Poshmark. Um, I know a lot of people love do Macari. I'm not sure about Macari. Um, I have heard both good and bad about it. So I'll research a little bit and see which one I'm going to do. Um, eBay, I usually do pretty good on eBay if I do decide to sell a bag because I'm not looking to make a fortune on any of my bags and be making a profit. I'm usually just if I haven't used it, I, I'm, I'm just trying to um, move some things out at a very fair price for the condition they're in. It's not a money-making deal. If you're in the handbags to make money, you're in the wrong, the wrong business. Because unless you've got some Chanel's and some Hermes, things like that, that are going to be going up in value and people acquiring, um, you know, coach, sorry, it really doesn't go up in value. Um, you've got to, you've got to have some that are going to hold their value. So yeah, it's not the market to get into. I have purses because I love them. I enjoy them. Each bag reflects a piece of my personality. So when I carry a bag, it, it says something. It's part of my story. It's part of my day. It's part of my mindset that I'm in. Um, you know, you whether you're wanting to be logo, you're wanting to be more kind of calm and quiet and sedate, or you want to break out the rainbows, baby, and just like, hey, here I am. You know, handbags say a lot, just like shoes. Um, I, I'm really bad about that because when I go somewhere, I'm not saying I'm judging, I am not judging, but I think a handbag and someone's shoes tells a lot of their story. And and I don't mean as far as um, um financial things like that if somebody has on orthopedic shoes of course you're going to know they're, they're having some some medical issues they have some foot issues if somebody has on very high stilettos um obviously they're in pretty good shape and uh, no problems with their feet somebody has a fancy handbag um hopefully it's real but, but you know it's a, it's a little bit of a of a flex and um, it just shows a little bit more of the personality or it just, it can be a Walmart bag and you dress it up with a outfit and it just kind of says how you're feeling about yourself that day. Um, some gals don't care. I have a good friend that really is not into handbags and she has a wonderful job, lives in a beautiful house, has beautiful automobiles, but bags aren't her thing. It, they really aren't or shoes. She's into practical, comfy shoes, and she's into a practical. She has two handbags. That's it. She has a big one and a small one. 
And for her, that works. They're nice bags, but she only needs two because she's practical. She's sensible. Um, <laughs> I guess maybe I'm not. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but when we get together, we have so, so much fun and I love her to pieces. But yeah, it, it just tells a little bit of story. She's more sensible. She's practical. And um, I need to be a little bit more like that and move some of these along. So anyway, today is Vlogmas, day 12. Sorry I missed yesterday, but I will be back tomorrow. I'm expecting a couple of things. My um, Aspinals of London, one has passed customs, one's on a container somewhere. I don't know, but those will be showing up sooner or later, I hope. Fingers crossed. And I will see, talk to you guys later. In the meantime, have a wonderful evening. Good night. Bye. And one more thing. Update on the pumpkins. They're still there. Mm -mm.